Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Chewing the Brew. Today, I'll be talking about Australia Galicia, which I have never had before. I suppose most of the beers on this channel I've never had before. That's kind of one of the main, well, not the main point, but... <laughs> okay, aside, 30 seconds in, already got an aside going. Bunnies trailing. Bunnies tra uh, Bunnies chasing. Chasing bunnies. Bunny trail. Bunny trails. That's the word I'm looking for. Goodness gracious. My wife's laughing from the other room, and deservedly so. Um, oh yes, that's right. Um, so, since starting this channel, I've realized something. I don't want to try a beer until after I've had a chance to try it live on camera. Well, not live. You don't see it live. You see it recorded. But I want to record my initial impressions. Um, <laughs> and so I've got six different kinds of beers out in my fridge right now that I don't want to open yet until I've had a chance to record. But, you know, got a family and a job and kids and responsibilities and time to do it and time not to do it. And yeah, just real talk with <laughs> trying to figure out how all this works in my life. Anyways, this one I have indeed not tried before. I am quite looking forward to it. I didn't even know it was a thing until perhaps two weeks ago in a conversation on another channel, um, which I will link below. Um, there was a, another beer reviewer talking about uh, macro beers and doing a, a comparison review of them. And uh, the topic of Estrella came up, the, the brewery here, brewery here out of Spain. I have had two Estrella beers, the Estrella Dam and the Estrella something else. I can't recall. Um, and the Estrella Dam is a really, really delicious beer that I enjoyed a lot. Um, it had a lot of stuff going on in the flavors, and I've talked about that before. There was a lot of activity in the flavor, and it was just really tasty, and I liked it. So, um, I like it a lot. I mentioned it, someone commented, oh yeah, I like Estrella Dam, but you should try Estrella Galicia. You can totally pick it up at, and he named two grocery stores common to the UK which I'm familiar with because, not because I've been to the UK, but because I follow several UK YouTube channels, and so I know what their grocery stores are called. Anyways, <laughs> I said, oh, well, I'm not in the UK. I'm all the way in the US on the far side. And so when I was at Total Wine just a week ago now, um, what should I spy but a six pack of Estrella Galicia? And uh, so I'm looking forward to this. So here's to you. Um, unnamed random YouTube person I write into <laughs> on a comment thread. I am always open to comments and suggestions. Um, so this is a Hellas export beer. Uh, Hell's is a um, is a pale German style, uh, paler than Vienna. And just for context, Vienna lagers are Mexican beers for people in the U.S. That's that's what a our main version of a um, of a Vienna beer is the uh, cervezas from Mexico. So this will be paler than those. They are also less bitter than um, than pilsners, which is not saying much because pilsners are considered relatively bitter, not IPA bitter, but they're they're kind of a middle of the road bitter. So they should have a low bitterness. It should be very pale, and it should be an emphasis on the uh, bready, uh, malty characteristics. It's more of a malt-forward beer than a hop-forward beer. Um, that said, this is a Spanish exploration of that flavor, um, so it's probably going to be unique in its own special ways, and I'm looking forward to that. Let's uh, see how this works out. Eh? Mm, got some bubbles there. The nose is definitely macro, um, so I would guess there's probably a relatively decent amount of corn involved in this. You're smelling that sweetness. Um, it's not a bad thing, just something to take into account. Generally with a macro beer, you're talking, 
macro beer as opposed to a micro beer. Um, macro beers are from the big name breweries. So this is from a big name brewery. Um, just, it's a, you know, from Spain, so we don't see it super often. What I'm seeing here, so this is honey colored. This is definitely honey colored. I would say that this is probably a little bit darker than, um, say a Modelo or a um, Corona. Uh, definitely honey colored, but super clear, like you can see right through that. Um, the head is very pale, um, like, like almost like snow white. And uh, there's a nice rockiness to it. Um, it's it's there, but it's not nothing over nothing huge. Um, on the nose, this just smells like a, a bog standard tasty beer. Um, so you're picking up the corn. Um, so the corn is sweeter has a lot more sugars in it than, and more easily accessible sugars than uh, your your wheat or your barley. Barley is probably one of the harder grains to break down um, in the European tradition to get to the sugars. Um, corn is really easy to get to the sugars. Um, so yeah, you're smelling that sweetness. Maybe some apple. and then malt. It's not like a really overwhelming head. It's just a really, it's a familiar head. You know, if you've had um, a, a decent Budweiser, you know, not not light, but you know, regular Budweiser or uh, Coors, um, Coors Banquet um, or Miller High Life. So definitely macro beer smell, which, I mean, that's what it's going for. It's supposed to be a appeal to everybody style of beer. And so it's hitting all the middle notes that people recognize this is what beer smells like. Let's see if that's what it tastes like. Okay, a lot of sweetness. Orange juice? But sweetness isn't the only thing that's going on. Um, there's a there's a uh, an effervescence. Um, there's uh, almost a a gin like herbaceousness that kind of pervades. Um, and then you have this citrus sweetness um, and this really nice, decent cracker maltiness. Uh, so I mean, it is hitting all the right points. It's, it's, it's macro. It's staying in the middle of the road, but it has some really nice, tasty things going on that work quite nicely. So I mean, orange juice and kind of orange peel, almost a marmalade, um, and the cracker and the um, and the uh, the other thing I mentioned, uh, apple or. Um, <laughs> Seltzer and yeah, seltzer. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, so kind of like that. There's the the gin, the gin like uh, juniper and herbaceousness. There's kind of a seltzer uh, dryness to it. There's kind of this orange juice, and they're kind of all there at the same time. It's a bunch of really tasty flavors that that are really nicely balanced. Yeah, that's pretty good stuff. I like that. That's a good beer. So thank you, random internet stranger. I really appreciate the, uh, the call out. That was uh, well worth it. Um, yeah, I think that's all I got to say. Just off work, my brain's still not quite jump started into <laughs> into whatever the next thing is. Anyways, this has been Estrella Galicia. Mm -hmm. And I will catch all y'all on the flip side. <laughs>